Hello, this is Leonardo, and in this video, I'm gonna show you the new features that I'm gonna uh, release soon with uh, Freak, which is the, the new low power model. And this this release actually came just in time when, uh, like, I guess that uh, some time some weeks from now, uh, version zero point six point one is gonna be released, and it has uh, a power meter. But yeah, before before that, I wanted to show you uh, how I used to to profile my code. So I have I have a uh, within the the DSP code. I always create these small programs that are compiled, and then and they just run the a certain plugin, the DSP part, on, under certain circumstances. For example, this is Vortex, and it's comparing the full power mode and the low power model and with uh, with positions of the cutoff and resonance to 0 0.1, 0 0.5, 0 0.7 and 0 0.9 and one characteristic of, of Vortex and, and also some of my other advanced filters is that the since they are actually simulations the the behavior and the power they consume is it's control, it's self-controlled, and is defined by the by the amount of, of error that the that the simulation has. So if we have a high resonance, high cut cutoff, that means that that probably the waveforms are moving very fast. Therefore, the simulation error of the plugin uh, may be large and it tries to 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 adjust the level of error to minimize it. In order to, to provide you the best uh, simulation of the filter, so and yeah, and what we can see here is that when I'm in in a cutoff 0 0.1 and also resonance 0 0.1, which is 10%, uh, both models run uh, almost at, at the same speed. The full power mode is slightly slower, and as as we start increasing the cutoff and the resonance, the, the difference is becoming larger until the point in which, in, for example here 0 0.7, the, in the, the full power model, it's, it's self-oscillating, therefore it needs to spend more time to, to keep a good uh, precision of the simulation. And so, uh, yeah, so the simulations try, try to minimize the error and maybe this is why they said my, that my resonances are, are incorrect because they are too precise, as in this case. Uh, yeah, but yeah, that that's if if you if you really want to get a, a good good result, you need to to minimize the error. So, and the last point that I'm testing, it's uh, it's one of the worst cases in which this filter is oscillating uh, in an uncontrolled way. And we have this number, and the low power model is it's it consumes half of it. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, it was just in time when Andrew uh, released uh, the the power meter or implemented the power meter in VCB rack. And I'm gonna tell you how how uh, you can read it, or th this is actually how I read it. So. The way you need to think is that here you have your, your audio interface and you have uh, something, a bar that is going to the top and the maximum here is going to be 1000 uh, millisamples. I think that is the way uh, Andrew called it. It's one, we have 1000 millisamples and you, you can think of this as your available power or if, if you can put it in, in another analogy, this is, this is you have 1000 coins. Here in your audio power, and this is in all of us should have 1,000 coins, but depending on the computer that you're using, your the modules that you put that you insert are gonna use more coins or less coins. For example, out of these 1,000, the mixer is consuming three, uh, the scope is consuming four, the filter is consuming uh, six, and lastly, uh, the the VCO is consuming. Uh, 
21. I think I have the... Okay, now it's better. No, now it's better. <laughs> so this is the, 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 the... to toggle the power meter. I, I didn't realize that it was off screen before. I want to keep it on. So in the case of Freak, with the vortex is, is the is the model that which is more detailed so it tends to consume more uh, more power than the others and right now since it's not doing anything we're only spending five coins out of for one thousand coins to to run it but at the moment that we connect something uh, yeah like this case in the video i don't know if you if you've seen it now it, it since we are using one of the signals now it's processing one one of the signals and we're getting a, a higher power usage the same happens if we if we connect the second it increases a little bit and if we use another i'm going to connect it here it's going to increase a little bit more so the more signals you use it uh, the uh, the more signals are processed therefore it will consume a little bit more power in the case of Vortex, right now, since we don't have any output, the filter says like, no, you are not, you are not processing anything. It, it is, I should not uh, consume any CPU. Still consumes a little bit, but it's minimal. So by the moment that I that I connect the first signal, I'm gonna connect it here to the second side. We can see this feature now that it says that, for example, I like disconnected. And it told me that the that the left filter and the right filter are off. I'm gonna connect it again so you can see it. So the left is active, the right is off, and we have one filter running, and it's consuming right now 16 uh, millisamples out of the 1,000 that we have available. And as I showed you before, this will this one uh, depending on on the error of the simulation is gonna consume a little bit more, like in this case or a little bit less and the like one of the worst cases it was when the when the filter starts oscillating at a very high frequency like this we have uh, <coughs> we have that, that that the consumption is, is this one and if i if i connect a second output even even though it's the same now we have two filters active and it's consuming twice as much uh, power so I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna going back to this reading. I'm gonna connect the, the input so we can see it uh, fixed. And I'm gonna connect. Uh, let me lower the volume just in case. I'm gonna connect the output, and we can hear how it sounds. So this is how the full power vortex sounds. And if you can see this point there is a, a small button which ac activates the low power mode and i did it this is small because i don't consider it a performance button you you are not supposed to be tweaking it like this you're supposed to enable it or disable it and that's it and you forget about it so if you if your computer can handle anything uh, just use uh, the full power mode and, and and you can see how much power is using so in comparison it's around the same power as as a vco uses if i put it in the in worst case again it's uh, this one is around 40 and this one is around 60. so it's 50 percent more of the of the power used by by a vco so let me keep it in i'm gonna decrease the volume i'm gonna keep it like this one of the highest power consumption and now i'm gonna enable the low power so what happened is it went i'm gonna put it back again it went from around 60 it's to consume around 40 and and also depending on on the on the point that you are it's gonna consume more or less so i'm gonna turn it on turn it off so you can see how uh, let me Remove the cables now. It's on, off, on, off. 
and as I showed you in, in the in the other case, in the in the terminal, when it's when the when there is not much variation, the low power mode almost consumes exactly the same as the as the full power mode. And I actually implemented low power mode for other filters. Uh, at, at the end, I'm, I'm gonna try to to put some some kind of uh, power reduction in most of the filter, but some of them do not really need it. For example, tangents has it. Uh, let me increase the resonance. But the difference is it's minimal. So the the, the only one that really needed it, it was it was vortex. So. And since this the low power model, it's a it's a different model. I, I did it. Uh, I started from the scratch, uh, uh, mod modeling the the components and and picking models that uh, are simpler. For example, for for the op amps, uh, and also for for other of the components, then <clears throat> it sounds slightly different. Still sounds quite good. <laughs> But sounds slightly different, and also the values of the resonance do not match exactly. So this one is the low power, and the full power mode is already self oscillating. I'm gonna keep it like that. You can see that there is a, a, sm a small difference between the the resonance values. Last thing that I wanted to show you, yeah, I already showed you this, that if you connect two, I'm gonna connect this one here, you have two filters active, you have twice the power consumption. And also that every, every filter consumes different amount of power. And the most power efficient is, is stable. So that's it, that's what I want to show you, the way you can read this power meter and also the new features that I'm gonna release into Freak and, and I'm gonna start, uh, I'm, I'm doing even more optimi optimizations, I'm, I'm rethinking some, some of the models and, and if I find something that is interesting and worth uh, using, I'm gonna release it. So you may be seeing more and more uh, new, uh, new optimizations from, from my side. So thank you very much and goodbye.